Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on Venn Diagrams. Uh, so a Venn Diagram is a way of categorising or sorting different groups of data uh, which we call sets. Now I'm not going to go into much detail about sets uh, because we do that in a separate video. Uh, we're only going to discuss how to sort sets into a Venn Diagram. So very simply, a Venn Diagram uh, for two different sets looks like this. So we have two circles, so let's say that this is set A and set B and we have a box around the two. Uh, so everything should be included in the box and, and any uh, pieces of data that belong in set A should be inside the A circle and any that belong in set B should be inside the B circle. Now if there's any that belong in both, uh, so that's both A and B, they should go into the, into the intersection between the two circles. And then any pieces of data that don't go into A or B should be included in the box outside the circles and we use this symbol uh, which is a Greek letter and that is just the universal set. As I say we've covered sets in a different video so be sure to check that out if you want to know more. So let's have a look at an example question. So consider the following set of numbers. So we have the numbers 1 to 11 here. Construct a Venn diagram uh, to represent the set A which is prime numbers and B which is odd numbers. Uh, so let's draw our Venn diagram. So we have two circles, like so, with an intersection between them, and then remember to draw the box around the two. And so that'll include any that don't come into A or B. So we can label the, the two circles, A and B. So A is prime numbers and B is odd numbers. Uh, now let's go through our list of numbers, and any time it's prime, uh, we'll highlight it. Uh, so we've got one, so one's not a prime number. Uh, two, two is a prime number. Uh, we've got three. Now three is a prime number, four is not, five is a prime number, and if we go through, we get that seven and 11 are the only prime numbers left. Uh, notice that nine is not a prime number because it's divisible by three. Uh, so uh, let's go through then, and any time we've got an odd number, we'll highlight it in blue. Uh, so we've got uh, one is an odd number, we've got three, five, seven, nine, and 11. Uh, so if you look, uh, there are some that have an underline uh, in both red and blue. So these are going to go into the intersection. So that is 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now we'll look for ones that are only in set A. So set A are the prime numbers, so we highlight those in red. Uh, so that's 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now the only one that's not in the intersection is 2, uh, as that's the only even prime number. And then if we go to the odd numbers then, we highlighted those in blue. Uh, there's a couple that aren't prime, so that's 1. So 1 is not a prime number uh, because it only has one factor. A prime number has two factors. And then the, the other one is 9. And then finally, uh, the remaining numbers we have to put outside of the circle. Uh, so those are 4, 6, 8 and 10. Uh, so let's just put those here. 4, 6, 8 and 10. Uh, so that's all of the numbers then from 1 to 11 have been included in our Venn diagram. So the second part then, using the Venn diagram from the previous question, so I've just copied it across, determine the probability of the following. So part A, the number selected is both odd and prime. Uh, so A was prime numbers, B was odd numbers, so odd and prime is the intersection. If you remember, there were 11 numbers in total, because it's 1 to 11, and there's 4 numbers in the intersection. So the probability is 4 out of 11. And then part B, the number selected is odd and isn't a prime number. Uh, so there's only two numbers that are odd that aren't prime numbers, uh, and these are one and nine, so therefore the probability is two out of 11. So moving on to the third part then. In the Venn diagram below, G represents students selecting geography and H represents students selecting history. Use the Venn diagram to determine the probability of geography uh, given history. So what does that mean? It means uh, the probability that a student takes geography given that we know that they're taking history. Uh, so that means we're only thinking about people that take history. So the total number of people who take history is 12 plus 2, uh, as that's the total number in the history circle. So that's 14. Now we want the probability that they take geography as well, uh, given that they take history. So that's just the intersection. That's therefore P of G given H in probability notation, it's just 12 over 14. Now you can divide both by two, uh, cancel it down to six over seven. 
So if you want to familiarise yourself with some Venn diagram exam style questions, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and you'll get instant feedback on all of it. So this is a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve. If you're interested, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.